<laughs> That's Gagi. That's she's saying let it go. I know, I can hear her. You woke me up, Fly. Good morning everyone and welcome to Monday. Um yeah, we're all just up having breakfast. Kids are with me. And yeah, day one, school, nursery run. Back to routine and normality. Um, um Yep. Someone's singing. Someone's singing, yeah. Violet woke me up singing. Frozen. Don't know if you heard that. She was singing really, really loudly. <laughs> like, were you dancing around the whole living room? Mm. Yeah. I didn't like it. Why not? It was giving me a headache. <laughs> Okay, so I've just cleaned the kitchen. We all feel quite perky this morning and I think it's because we all went to bed really good time. The kids literally went to bed dead on seven o'clock. And sometimes they have that like <clears throat> feeling of like, I can't sleep. So they like play in their room for like 20 minutes and that's fine, we're happy with that, even if they wanna just read books or whatever. Um, but both of them were pretty much yesterday outside just playing all day and they were just shattered. Um, so they went to bed nice and early. Me and Graham were in bed by nine and asleep probably by about half nine. So yeah, we feel quite perky, which is always really good, especially for a Monday, because Monday is just always the worst day. Um, I've just tidied up the usual kitchen. Those two are bickering, normal. I'm just gonna strip our bed and then I need to because we've got a new mattress, we need to um, turn it more regularly and just, because you've got to get the evenness of the springs and stuff, I don't know. But they basically say you have to turn it a lot. So um, I'm going to have to try and wrestle this mattress and turn it somehow. But anyway, I need to strip our bed anyway. Right, one room done. Lego though, Lego. It's not too bad though, he did tidy quite a bit of it away. It's just got, I look at that pile over there, honestly, he doesn't play with it. And um, I'm tempted to sift through it and actually go through it with him and say, do you really need that? Because I just look at the pile and I think it's a lot of space. He really needs a desk. That's one thing I'm thinking about birthdays, getting him a small desk, um, maybe using that space. All right, second room done. Now time to strip our bed. Recently I had to sell all of my jewel, my jewels duvet covers. I had three really, really nice ones. What did I have four? three and um since well we've always had a king size bed but um for some weird reason we never changed our duvet our actual duvet and i think it was because it was really new when we um had we bought our previous bed um, and we just thought well we're fine with the double duvet cover um so when we got this new bed i was like well let's upgrade and get like a proper king size um duvet which meant that all my duvet covers I can't use anymore, which I'm really upset about actually. And obviously, Jules duvet covers are really expensive, but I put them on eBay and I got some decent money back. I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy just to get some money back for those so I can put towards some new duvet covers because this is the only one I have at the moment, which I love, but yeah, I did order one from Matalan. It's kind of like a striped gray and white one. I thought I would, like not splurge too much because well you know on Jules ones and wait for them to have a really good deal you know like a discount code or um, a sale on or something because that's when I usually buy them anyway and treat myself maybe in spring summer to one of their um, really nice duvets because their quality is so amazing. <laughs> too bad Graham usually does the flipping see so yeah just turned it on around um yeah so then I'll have to put the stuff in the wash <laughs> and have to wait till it's dry okay I've just put the car on because it's super icy this morning the kids are pretty much ready busy busy ready for school ready for nursery no. they've both brushed their teeth no. <laughs> well they sound excited okay ready to go freezing outside. Basically a chore day today and just get stuff done. You okay? Yeah. Ooh, slinky. Just brought my tractor up. He wants me to uh, roll the field today, so that's why he's brought the tractor up. Right, come on kid. Look at that. Beautiful today. Cold. Come on, 
going to be late. I'm back from the school and nursery run. I think it's probably about nine. Um, I am on week three of my beta workouts. I actually have pushed myself a week back because obviously over half term I don't feel like I really put my all into it and also I missed a couple of days. So um, last week I basically used that as my week two. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do my workout, 25 minutes, just get it done and then I'll start my day. Um, Graham wants me, I think I said, um, Graham bought the roller up and we need to roll the grass. Um, just so the grass grows better and it just is something you do with fields. Um, so I'm going to do that and he's actually, it's the last day to cut hedges, like trim hedges back. Um, you can only do it at a certain time of year. So Graham's going to be doing that today. The rolling only takes about an hour to do the field. Um, so I'll be doing that. I need to do a few chores in the house, of course. I need to really hoover the house, like a proper hoover. Um, it's what I tend to do now because I've got my Dyson. I use that like sparingly through the week, like, you know, going around li little bits. But I always do a Monday a really full, a full, like proper hoover, um, you know, under things fully with my Hetty. Um, so yeah, that's basically plan for this morning anyway. I'm going to do this workout. Feeling rather pink today my leg i love these leggings probably my most favorite these are from h&m a couple years ago now though but they're the most comfiest showered and sorted myself out I just literally lightly blow dried my hair I'm just gonna quickly hoover the whole house and then I need to head out and do some rolling off the field okay hoovering done it's 25 to 11 Graham's actually gonna show me how to use the tractor roller thingy so yeah give me an hour and then I'll be back in I need to do a bit of dusting and then I need to pop out this is me for the next hour and very slow my roller. Rolling, rolling. Great, got that. Luckily, I've got radio. I can put it on. cheesiest thing ever. Graham was like, oh, I only take an hour. Two hours later, it's like 22 minutes past one. I feel like a zombie and we haven't had lunch. Graham suggested going out for lunch, just quickly, just locally. <sighs> I think that's a good idea. I need to pop out anyway, because um, Alistair is doing Alice in Wonderland at school. They've got a show going on on the 9th of March, which is only next week and you have to provide costumes and all along he said he wants to be the Cheshire Cat and then I was looking on, obviously online for like costumes and I was like Alistair um, you can be Cheshire Cat absolutely fine but just to warn you like this is your costume and it was basically a pink stripy cat he was like but it's usually purple purpley blue um, but it's, it's literally only pink <laughs> so he doesn't want to be the Cheshire Cat anymore he wants to be a card 
um, the Ace of Spades, one of the card men. Um, so I'm, I was looking online, they're like 15 to 20 pounds the costumes and I just thought I'm not paying that. It's basically just a white tabard, that's what I'm going to make. Um, so I'm going to go to Fabric Land or the fabric store locally and find some felt to make a white tabard. And then he can wear like a black top underneath and I'm going to put like, um, cut out the ace of spades on it, you know, to make it look like an actual card. He can wear just black trousers and it'd be fine. Um, it's only for one day as well, you know, it's not something he's going to be wearing <laughs> any other time. So, yeah, I think we're going to do that. I just feel like a zombie. I feel so tired. I need a really good strong coffee or cu cup of tea or something and something to feed my tummy. It's a beautiful day though, it's such a good day for it. Um, I just wish I wasn't sat in the cab the whole time. I don't think I would have survived if we didn't have a radio in there because that kept me going. Luncheon in the car. Sandwiches. We've got salted caramel cupcakes. That was my choice, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then Graham's got frazzles. And then I've also got a caramel, no, vanilla latte, which I haven't had before. I'm sure it's nice. We're just watching this little old lady move her car. Her red Fiat Panda. She's literally moved it about five times. And she's still not happy with it. I think she's going to move it again. What do you think? Checking it out. Oh, bless her. She's so not happy. Oh, she's going to move it again. She's been sat there for like 15 minutes. She's got a reversing on. Oh, she's going to get over too far. She is. No, that's perfect. Let's see if she thinks it's perfect. Checking it out, checking it out. She's got the engine going again. Still. Oh, please, it's perfect. Yep, I think she's all right. All right, I'm literally off on the school run because we had lunch in the car and then we went to the fabric store and it's already 20 to three. So off to get Alistair, then literally straight from school, straight to nursery back home luckily we've got the fabric so i can measure up alistair and try and sew out this costume so yeah knackered one down we've got one child one to go we've got violet with a little owl and now we are off home yay hi everyone so i'm sorry for sort of coming back to you quite late because it's actually six o'clock my dad literally was at my house when i came back after the school nursery run um, completely unannounced which is fine and he does do quite a lot to be honest um, so yeah all plans just went out the window I was supposed to make Alistair's tabard I've got black felt and white felt it's another thing that I need to do now it's kind of on my list I might do it tonight I don't know it won't take me that long um, dinner went out the window although I did make dinner it it was totally different to what I was supposed to make um, yeah <laughs> just one of those things isn't it when people turn up and just want to spend time with you so yeah it was nice to see my dad I haven't seen him in two weeks so it was nice and I actually had to give him his um kind of a late birthday present I had something on order waiting for him um and I was actually going to take it around his house this week so it was good that he actually turned up so I could give him that um yeah I've just tidied up um the aftermath of the kitchen like you know the um dinner side of things and I actually need to put duvet covers on our bed, which is one thing, again, I needed to do. The kids have been really good. They've just been playing. Um, what are you doing? Mommy. Really good, jumping all over my sofas. Mommy. Yes. Um, can we have some cups? You had your dinner. You've had pudding. Why do you keep eating? Well, is it because you're growing? I don't eat anything, just nothing. Just dinner and just yeah. pudding. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can I have a banana? Yes, you can have a banana. Yes. You can have fruit as well. If you want a fruit, you can have a fruit. Anyway, yeah, I'm basically just going to quickly make bed. I took the stuff out the tumble dryer, but I just threw it on the bed when my dad came here. So, yeah, that's the plan. Right, so that is made. Oh my God, I can't.
can't wait to get into bed tonight. I'm so tired. It's like, so it's ten past six. I'm ready for bed already. Um, so I just want to end this vlog with, I hope you've enjoyed it. This it will be, well, it's 29th of February today, which is a leap year. It's actually my friend's birthday. She's officially seven. <laughs> seven years old. Obviously, she's 28, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to upload this tomorrow. Um, and I'm officially going to try and vlog the whole of March. And literally vlog the whole of March. Not just upload a video like I usually do for Vlogmas. I'm actually going to push myself and try and get myself to film my day every day and see how I feel about it. Um, just for something different. I feel like I haven't done a lot of videos or vlogging lately. Um, I haven't really put myself in this position before of vlogging every day, if that makes sense. I don't think I've ever done this. And obviously I've been doing YouTube for five and a half years. It's just a very long time. Um, yeah, let me know if this is what you wanna see. And you know, this video might be, I have obviously haven't edited it yet, so I don't know how long it is, but this video might actually be a longer one than any other. Um, so, you know, it might just be a snippet from my day, five minutes or 10 minutes or something. Um, it might not necessarily be a long whole day in the life sort of thing, but I'm gonna try and vlog every day of this month in March. I hope you enjoy them and let me know if you do and I will see you all tomorrow.